Go ahead. Hi, my name is Andy Beto. I'm with PATH in Seattle, Washington. And uh, PATH is a nonprofit based out of Seattle with approximately uh, 800 staff worldwide and working in 70 countries around the world. Our uh, main focus is working with technologies and global health to reduce the barriers to uh, for uh, healthcare in the developing worlds. This this project here is uh, is, is a diagnostic project that's uh, focused on developing a diagnostics uh, platform. Uh, this could be generally applicable to a number of different emerging diseases such as dengue, malaria, HIV, but allows the uh, diagnostics test to be done at point of care where the patient is versus in a central laboratory. Um, it's based off of currently available technology if you walk into any uh, uh, grocery store, kind of like Walmart for instance, where you can uh, buy a beverage that has been has a self-heater in it that has an exothermic reaction, basically heats coffee or soup or whatever. This technology uh, is um, derived from that uh, to allow us to generate heat to heat a, uh, a specimen or a particular assay for a certain temperature and period of time. What we've gone and done is added a uh, phase change material which basically allows uh, your reaction to be controlled at a set temperature. So for instance, if, you're, if you set off a, a, a chemical reaction of calcium oxide in water, uh, you produce heat, so your reaction all of a sudden um, fires off immediately and goes as fast as uh, it can, and it'll spike well above 200 degrees. Um, and for our instance, uh, for the assays that we're looking at using, uh, which is a, a lamp drive assay, we want this to be at 65C, so we're using phase change material to basically uh, control that. And phase change is, is similar to ice uh, in water, where um, when ice melts and, and changes into water, it's, it's at zero degrees. So we're using something similar to candle wax, which basically uh, melts at 65 degrees C. And as that calcium oxide um, is uh, is going, you're producing heat that's going into that wax to change phase, which basically is keeping the, keeping the reaction at 65, or keeping the uh, temperature of the sample at 65C. Um, basically, this platform would be, uh, the idea behind it would be in a uh, single-use type of platform where you could carry a number of them with you that would have the, uh, the reagents in the platform, which you take the sample, put it in there, fire it off, and 60 minutes come back and, and look at it and either get a, a positive or a negative. We did some laboratory testing um, in PATH in Seattle and compared it to other commercially available thermocyclers on the market to see how it compared and, and it, uh, we got similar results to the thermocycler uh, with a turbidity test and a um, fluorescence test on it. So Nick's steps in this is really looking at uh, generating uh, future funding to be able to mature the design further and integrate a, a sample processing component to it. Um, so you can take a, a whole blood sample from somebody and process it and then run an assay on it right there in the field. Great, thank you. Okay, thanks.